action. Good morning. Um, remember yesterday we were looking at some work from Pablo Picasso and George Brock, especially their collage work that really revolutionized the Western art world. Um, and we were paying attention to composition, transparency, and opacity. So I want today we're going to take uh, five minutes to do some tearing techniques to produce different edges with paper. And so I want you to keep these vocabulary words in mind as we work. So first we're going to take a look at a, Dada art, a German Dada artist who worked with collage. This is Kurt Schwitters. And this piece is called Open by Customs. And let's take a look at that closer. Okay, so notice the edges created through tearing and cutting. We see sharp and soft edges as well as examples of opacity and transparency. And I want you to think about what these effects express to you. For example, a torn, worn edge may make you think of time, something old, discarded, or broken. So really think about what you're trying to convey in your piece through these effects. Now we're gonna look at a contemporary artist. This is Elizabeth St. Hillier, and she does a process that's called painting with paper. All of that's paper, and you can see the newsprint there. We'll take a look at another contemporary artist, Deborah Shapiro, and I want you to notice the depth and that she created with contrast and the meaning added through text and images. And here's another piece by her. And notice these edges she has created, especially around the eyes. The torn edges give the impression of fur. Okay, so let's get started. As you can see, I have my paper um, surface adhesive. I'm using Mod Podge. I have a brush and some water. Not a lot needed. And so I'm going to show you, I'm going to tear this out for my piece. And for the sake of time, I'm just gonna do this a little bit quickly. What I want you to see is if I tear the paper one way, it might take the print up. And if I don't want that effect, let's tear the other way. Just start tearing the other way. Now, this edge is gonna give me a nice sort of organic feel instead of a hard, sharp edge that looks like I just cut it out of somewhere. And these edges might be easy to put together. Oh. So, all right. Whoops. Well, I can do something with that. All right. So here we've got I've got these nice, smooth, soft edges, very natural. And I want to show you another technique. This is if I want a particular shape that I'm tearing out, I'm going to get the outside. And you have to really do this kind of liberally uh, with water. Just paint water around the edge. I want a circle, so I'm using this glass. And then I'm just going to lift it up, tear it up, lift it up from there. And I don't really want a perfect circle, so this is fine. Otherwise, I could keep tearing around it. And there you've got a very sort of natural looking shape, but it's in the shape that I want, the circular shape. So I put that maybe over here. And let's see, I'm gonna put, whoops. I messed that up. I didn't mean to have that white edge, but let's see what I can do with that. Maybe it's an interesting surprise. It kind of looks like a rip in time to me. So I kind of like that, you know. If you make a mistake, don't worry about it. It can transform into something else. Now I'm going to use my Mod Podge and I'm going to put it liberally. We're painting with paper, so I'm not gonna worry about it so much. Mod Podge um, dries clear, so don't worry about 
being messy. All right, and let's see, so I can keep working on this as we go along. And while you're working. Okay, so we have various types of paper at your table, as well as adhesives and cardboard for our supports. Let's get started. I'll be walking around. If you have any questions, I want you to pay close attention to the edges and shapes you create and how you can use them to evoke meaning. Remember to incorporate what we've been learning about composition, transparency, and opacity, and enjoy. Experiment. 